Hey everyone, I'm Multiple 456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 25 of Bless Platinum God of War Ragnarok. Alright, I'm a little bit further away from where I was last time because I had to turn the game off and turn it back on. So I'll just head over there now and we'll complete it. Uh, nope, that's wrong, that's wrong, it's this one here. Alright, so for this one, well, you can see a Nornia brazier, so let's go ahead and light it. As the Nornia chest is hiding there. Need to find out some way to destroy the hive matter. Don't know if we can reach this, at least not from here. Can I climb up? Shoot. Yeah, there we go. Can reach it from there. So grab that one. And then for the hive matter, actually a little confused on this one. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> It must be over there, hang on. Mimir, wouldn't you prefer to face forward rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with Viscera. Oh. There was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. <laughs> okay. So yeah, they said that before. Sometimes, as I've mentioned before, sometimes they repeat things. Because the game has like a weird system when it comes to saving. Okay, let's get off. And now we only have one more Norni thing to destroy. And it's kind of interesting the way they did this one. You have to, uh, have to stand down here. And throw the axe really, really high up. Oh, that was too far. There we go. And then it just lights the thing. <laughs> I, I like that one. It's a little... Slight, slight different, uh, slight variation on what we usually do. Alright, so now if we can collect one more Nornia chest for both, we can get an upgrade to health and rage. We got triple wits there, the bronze tier. That was for opening a certain amount of Nornia chests. Did I get that other... Did I bash it? Surely it wasn't over the hill. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, on to the next, yeah, on to the next area, which is over here. Let's get this over here. Now what? My face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? That's not just dirt. It's not dirt. <laughs> I love the little bit of an extra pause. Just got a new guest. Yeah, I got a new guest, but we didn't get a new treasure chest, so don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, I love that little extra pause that they do there. Is it? Feels like it's going to be over and then it says something else. Alright, let's see if we can destroy this guy. Oh, that's not good. Got see. Oh, we got a... Oh crap, I can't see. Just get rid of him at least. There's another one. That was good. Good counter. Another decent counter. I would like to... <laughs> I was trying to figure out whether I should block or parry, and I think I needed to parry when I when I blocked and needed to block when I parried. Okay, this one can be tough. Let's try again. Fortunately, I've got the uh, the rocks. Okay. There we go. There's the launch. Oh gosh. <laughs> Can't see. No, oh, you're there. Nice. Avoid that. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a last second dodge. Oh, did I? No. Oh, I was like, what the hell happened? I changed to my. That's all I wanted to do. 
Oh, it worked. <laughs> I wasn't sure that was going to work. Try... this one. Nice. At least I got him. Avoid that at all costs. Ah, this guy's annoying. <laughs> There we go. Hmm, pretty sure I had my axe equipped during that, so maybe he just always does that if uh if you stun him. Got a few good things from that. Let's have a look at the horn for the tributes to Freya. I'll just wait a sec just to see what else I got. Axe silver, I got some bonded leather, which Will come into play probably much later. All right, let's have a look at that horn. Uh, it is artifacts, tributes, horn, which I cannot access because, yep. Yeah. Not to be confused with Galahorn, this piece symbolizes peace, or at least Freya's hopes for peace. It was said amongst the more easily excitable of the elves that one day Freya would blow the horn of quiet and in doing so bring an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn, and as far as I can tell, no such item exists. But that didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. Alright, the Horn of Quiet. Let's read uh, this one. Yeah. The Tower's Purpose. Though it now serves as a military outpost, this tower's architecture indicates a different function in the time before the division of light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual, many of the texts within have been sanitized across generations, but the very absence of any information is telling, in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held here? So inim uh, inimical, you know, inimical, so inimical, I don't know that one, so inimical, I think it's like, if you're, like they say the inimitable, right, so therefore that's someone you can't imitate. So maybe that's the same thing, inimical, uh, to our current status quo, that the li librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose. I can't help but assume the answer is the key to a lasting peace, the console. Um, let's look around. Well, we're full on health and rage, but may as well grab stuff. Destroy these. We have another uh, no, this is something else, actually. A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. Okay, a diagram for a sword hilt. Let's see if that uh, had anything else. Isn't it a favor? Oh, at the moment it's just a labor. We have found pages torn from an ancient tome. The pages contain diagrams of long forgotten sword hilts. If we can find the ingredients, I believe the dwarves can craft these relics once again. These pages are very old and could be anywhere. It is likely the relics outlined in these diagrams are very powerful. Pages found, one of four. Grab some more Hacksilver and another legendary chest. Let's see what's in this one. This might be the chest piece actually. Oh no, the gauntlets. Maybe, oh, we have the chest piece, what am I talking about? <laughs> and the gauntlets. Uh, wait, yeah. So the gauntlets have basically 28 strength, which is only two more than what we have at the moment with the braces, and our braces have much better stats on them, so we'll hold on to that. Okay, did we complete that? Yes. All right, so we've almost completed everything here. We've got three more things. I think we can only complete one more of them, because I think the other two... We need to Father, do something for it. I look like you? In what way? Like bigger. When do I get muscles like yours? When you work for them. But Falder was really strong, and he didn't have any muscles. My strength does not come from my body, but from your home by discipline. What's that mean? It means you've got the strength of a god no matter what, lad. But if you want the physique of one, you'd better start picking heavy things up. I'm pushing him back down. <sighs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, this one. I okay. So in order to do this one, I think you have to destroy that. Let's double check that I. Yeah, destroy that, and then I think we have to actually go to the other side 
so that we can find an angle to destroy all three. Let's grab that. I'm a, a little bit wary about getting off the sleds with the ghoul on because if they start talking, it will interrupt it and it's really annoying. Okay, that's good. Get it back. Get back on. Go around. I wish we were to collect the coffin, I think that's there. And nice. Got some de decent upgrade materials from this area. What's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. Can't remember. Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare. It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. <laughs> Why do you ask? So we can compare. <laughs> of course. Ah, youth. Okay, almost there. We've only got a handful of things. I think we've got like one area left to to discover. I just want to check if there's any like hack silver pouches around here real quick. No, that won't be there because of the chest. Check this side. Also not there. There's a chest, that's good. I think there was one near the door over there, which I will go to. No, we'll watch it. All right, there. Check, check, check. Now this remaining thing is extremely difficult. I hate when the thing can't turn. I really hope that I can pull it off. That would be nice if I could, but it is extremely challenging. Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hot Gates. You are there? No. Is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. There's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half Gufa. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we can exp we can examine that thing, but it's pretty much what we had last time in Svartalfheim. <laughs> the half goofer just covers the whole thing. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. We can't do anything with it yet. We will be able to event eventually, but not right now. In the meantime, let's. Uh, I'm gonna save. Let's give this a shot. Ah oh, man, here we go. Another draugr hole. He's got to pay attention to his friends. Okay. Try that. So when he when he gets like that, you gotta chuck your axe at him to uh, prevent him. Come on. <clears throat> okay, that's one down. Also haven't taken a hit. Where is he anyway? He's over there. Yeah, don't let him have that effect on him because he, he will use it and you'll die. Nice. Oh, gotcha. Gotta keep that not getting hit up. Okay, beautiful. Alright, here we go. Here's the last one. Okay. Two, three, four, avoid, avoid, avoid. That was a good last second dodge. All right, activate. One, two, three. Get back, attack. Where's the damn things? No, you don't. Good. He's going pretty well. Like this. Big stun damage. Yeah, 
Here we go. No, come on. He's full on stun. There we go. Yep. Got him. Yes. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. I cannot believe that. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right. No word of a lie. That fight is really hard. As you can see, I, I took. I think I got hit once or twice. Lost a gigantic chunk of HP, and managed to still come out victorious because I didn't get hit a second time. But uh, yeah, that that is a very difficult fight, and I, I'm so happy that I pulled that off first go. That was so fun. Like I said, it, it, you do need practice, but it's it's not so much. Well, it is definitely practice. It's almost always all practice, but you need to also be calm and you need to be methodical and slow and not try and rush down enemies. Just avoiding taking damage will give you the time to deal damage back. So just try to survive is probably the best advice I can give. You collected Kavasir stories? Give them here. Huge fan. Whatever you need. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay, so we can finally upgrade hilts. No, sorry, not upgrade. We can finally um, purchase relics is what I meant. I meant. <laughs> Completely wrong. Anyway, we can finally purchase relics. So let's purchase one. This is called the Hilt of Angravadal, and it is one of the best relics in the game. It's very, very, very useful. Slash forward three ways of light that deal increased damage against enemies afflicted with Sonic. Oh, and I can't make it because I need that damn item. Damn, okay. I was going to say use this against <laughs> that Draugr, but I just realized I need that item. If you are struggling, if you are struggling, you can use this simple resurrection stone as well. I still haven't gotten it because I don't want to use it just yet. But uh, yeah, you can do that. Let's see. Okay, I can upgrade and I probably should, right? Mm. Just trying to think. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade anything just yet. Let's uh, let's head back to home, basically. At the moment, that's where we need to go. We finally did all the side quests, so we're going to go back to Sindri's house. Let me just make sure of that. Niflheim, yeah, okay. And this one was Fartafine, which we've done. Okay, cool. Let's go. Alright, we'll get a little bit more story before we finish today. Very small amount. Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Let's talk with the squirrel. Nothing? Can't talk with him? I am already here, okay. Master Kratos. Strange, I thought he would say something. Um, Alright, in that case I wish I had upgraded some of my gear because I can't really go through this next section until, like, it's, you know, I'm basically at the end of the episode so I can't uh, start this part. So I'll leave it for next time. For now I want to thank you all for watching episode 25 of Let's Plan I'm God of War Ragnarok. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.